What is up guys, it's Squeebs here, back in some HNG, and today we're going to be looking at the US side tank destroyers, two commonly known tank destroyers, the M10 and the M18 Hellcat. I'm going to break these up into two separate videos, but for the first video, we're going to jump into the M18 Hellcat. I did a video on this one before, but uh, you know, a lot of things have changed and we got a lot of new tanks. So I figured I would make some more tank videos for you guys, but um, I'm going to show you the in-game aspect of this M18 Hellcat, and then I'm going to lay out some more statistics based off the Heroes and Generals website. So in-game, looking at a couple of things, uh, it offers M79 shot, which is standard armor piercing, and then we have AP composite rigid rounds, which are ballistic cap. Basically gives you an increase in penetration chances at uh, farther than normal range. And then, of course, HE, which is high explosive rounds for when you need to deal with those infantry. Um, it offers three different types of crates, which is nice. There's no paint job as of yet, but uh, as far as information in game, it tells us that it has a 76 millimeter uh, cannon, M1A2 L55, and then it has a support gun or machine gun mounted on top, which will mostly never get used because it's so exposed up there. Uh, anybody that's willing to hop up there is uh, not going to last long. But um, anyways, let's break down the statistics from the web page so we can see uh, armor and different stuff like that. But all right, so starting with the top, we have front, side, rear, turret, and the turret sides all at 13 millimeters, so that's very low. The mantlet armor is at 25 millimeter, and our top armor is at 8 millimeter, even the lowest. So main cannon, 76 millimeter M1A2 L55, machine gun, and then M2 Browning. The maximum speed of this tank is 27.3 miles per hour. It costs 135,000 credits, and if you were to use gold to buy this tank, it would cost you 1,620. Now looking at some pros and cons, we'll start with the pros. It is the fastest armored vehicle in the game. It is highly maneuverable. It has a huge 76 millimeter cannon, and it is the fastest reverse acceleration of any other vehicle. So those are all really good pros to keep an eye on. Uh, cons of this vehicle, it rarely deflects enemy shots from other tanks. It's extremely low armor, which we've just seen. It has highly exposed driver compartment as well as the gunner, and it is highly weak against enemy anti-tank weapons, whether it's a PTRD, uh, Pins or false anything like that. It's highly weak against that So let's go ahead and jump right into some gameplay guys and show you guys this m18 and how I use it All right, so here she is guys the m18 Hellcat. She's a beauty um, Now her only downside is she's low armor on the sides and rear. I mean really really low armor But like most tanks that's pretty common uh, even in the front, she's not too heavily armored, so other enemy tanks can have a have a go with her. But we got to keep her wrench handy. So there's the mounted machine gun like we were talking about. Uh, intercom, that doesn't work. <laughs> but uh, let's get right into it. This tank is a lot faster than uh, most tanks. So I like to play this tank as uh, a flanker. And that consists of you know going out wide and coming back in to the inner flanks. And uh, catching tanks from the side or the rear. But... Um, you know, you guys can always play this tank how you want to. They're, they're capping D2 right now. I'll go ahead and switch to HE. So we go ahead and we got someone spotted armor up here on our left. We're gonna go, oh, there we go. Yeah, he's seen us. So this is where we're gonna try to flank. This is where the M18 Hellcat comes in handy. Yeah, she is fast. Yeah, she does have a lot of maneuverability. And we're gonna try to show you guys that right here, right now. So. See, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. Until you have that happen. Might be able to come up behind him. There we go. There we go. We got really lucky right there. We're going to go ahead and hop out. Wrench up. Is that how we do it now? There we go. <laughs> it's been a minute. It's been a good minute. I'm gonna make sure nobody's rushing over here on us real quick. Still good. 
And they're taking our main right now. If they take our main, we'll pretty much just relocate. Um, we'll stay focused on armor. So that was a perfect example of how good the M18 Hellcat is as far as maneuverability. Those other tanks got outmatched, and that other guy just pretty much got outskilled because if, if he was smart, he would have went to the outside to see where I went. Um, so there's an upside of the M18 Hellcat. It's very, very fast as, as far as your M10 uh, is not. So. so let's get back down here, try to get up the hill here. We'll oh, looks like we got another one. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can get this guy. We'll try to keep our front towards him. Looks like a panzer. have to stay far right because that other enemy tank is going to try to come up at us again. I'm just going to expect that. So we'll stay far right, try to catch him. This guy might be still in this tank. I'm not sure. He's not... Okay, so that was a good flank. That was a good solid flank right there. We're going to keep going around to the left uh, and go to the right flank to try to get that other panzer that was hiding in the trees. This tank, when used properly like this, is an absolute beast. I don't know where their spawn is. I'm thinking it might be right up here, so i got to be weary of that. But uh, I do want to try to find that other panzer. And I think he's up here because he's on the kill feed right now. That area is right behind me, right, right where we want to be. Right, where we want to be. Okay, we're in the middle now. Not really a good choice to be. So we're going to go ahead and try to get back over here to the left. Uh, that's kind of where I expect them to be coming from. So far, so good. We haven't been taken out, guys. Um, I try not to expose myself too much unless I know I have cover and they can't see me easily. So like me crossing this field up, up here is, is not a good idea. They can definitely see me. I'll go ahead and take some fence on that. I thought that civil truck was an enemy, ta enemy tank for a second. That would freak me out. So we'll just run the tree line. This is another good tactic. I don't know if you guys use it as tanker, tank crewmen, but just run the tree lines. Um, uh, if anything, your smoke's going to give you away. They can't see your tank too well. But uh, we're just going to sit here for a little bit and see if we got enemy tank movement. And if not, we're going to go ahead and cross. But we kind of have to expect them to come from the main points. Like, there we go, right there in front of us. And that handles that. We gotta be careful not to be seen. So we're just gonna fall back into the bush line here. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is that that enemy stug driver is going to be expecting us to be in that area. So obviously he knows we shot him from the back. We can use these hay bales too as another great advantage. The hay bales will protect us from uh, our front. I haven't seen the Panzer yet. I haven't been paying attention to the kill feed either. I've kind of been focused on uh, what's in front of me. But, uh, if you notice, I'm staying moving. And the reason why I'm doing that is it's harder for them to hit me, obviously. But I might go off to the far left again and uh, get that tree line up. There he is, right there. And this is the problem. We have to stay moving because he's going to try to get us. Here we go. We got, we got the tree line. We got the tree line. So this might save us right here. We just got to be careful not to run into uh, too many trees. We can come up and flank these guys. Okay, we got one down. We'll keep, we'll keep moving and we'll use our speed to our advantage. And I think we just got helped by someone. And that just probably saved our life. Uh, one thing is we have to pay attention to the stug. I think those were just both panzers. And there we go, right there. There we go, come on. Turn, turn, you bitch. Kind of winging it because I can't see him. Uh, 
Jerry's over here in the M3, so that helps as well. Okay, so that was another perfect example of the speed of the M18 Hellcat. Can definitely be an advantage to when it comes to those Panzers. They can't turn as fast as we can. And as long as we don't get seen by the enemy airplane, we should be able to repair. I think our teammate was shooting at someone over here. Two Panzers right in front of us, I believe two, maybe one, yeah. Okay, a Stug and a Panzer right in front of us. Okay, now we're now on our decoy zone, so we're gonna kinda back up. Stug went up this way, but we, yeah, right in front of us. We're going for a big flank this time because we've kind of been hitting the left flank hard and they're going to expect us there. There's one of them right there. This gunner might give us away. There's an enemy tank sitting up on top of that hill before. So our guys are getting killed by Panzers on the kill feed, so we know that there is one obviously hanging around here somewhere. Um, there's a good chance he might be on the opposite side, on the right flank, and there comes another enemy tank right there. We'll try to deal with this guy. That's an RM-18, matter of fact. Yeah, we definitely want to get rid of that. Definitely do not want that guy using an MAT. When I got sniped in the city, thinking that I could be slick using the city to my advantage, which did not work. Okay, we're gonna go around the right flank this time because I, I believe the Stug and the Panzer is over here shooting at our infantry, so. We just got flanked. That's what I call getting flanked by a Stug. <laughs> Alright, so we're back from being flanked by the Stug. So far, we're 12 kills, 3 deaths. Uh, 10 of those are tank kills. Which, I don't remember killing anybody that wasn't in a tank. So, anyways. We're doing pretty good. We just gotta keep an eye out for that enemy Stug. They're hard to see. Low profile, which is another great benefit of the German Stug. But, like the Stug, we can flank easily. And his only downside is his turning speed. They cannot turn whatsoever. Kind of like us when we're in this water. Are you serious? Somebody must have spotted us. We'll stay in the trees and repair real quick. It's a weird sound too. Alright, so we're full, fully repaired. Yeah, someone had to have spotted us for this. The planes to just see us like that. Maybe they could just see really well. I don't know. We're gonna be weary of the stug. And we're going to see if we can push the right flank. See if we can find those panzers again. Stick to the tree line. guy there on the bridge, but we're not worried about him. We're looking for tanks. Like this guy.
figure out where the rest of them went. We'll be good to go. That one right there? Yep, that's the Panzer right there. Shot at by a rocket launcher. Yep, we're getting shot at by a rocket launcher. Panzer falls. So the, those German tanks are going to come out over here. This guy's unbelievable. I love how easy they can see us, these planes, you know? We're gonna stay... Okay, fine. We were gonna stay hiding right here in the tree, but that's obviously not gonna work. Oh my god! I'm so sorry. We're getting shot at by an enemy tank. But we need to repair, so... I'm just gonna chill right here for a minute. If our, if our planes could help us out, that would be great. So far, we're not doing too bad. We've got 12 tank kills, and if you look at any of those guys, um, it's Son of Stone with the most with five. So that that's uncomparable to how many tank kills we have just with one single tank. So, and what I mean by that is just the M18. Now, obviously, I've got killed a couple times, three times, but that's a that's a three to uh, 12 ratio, and that's pretty good. Should be interesting to see how the M10 does. We're gonna pop out real quick and take care of our Panzer friend again. Hopefully he doesn't. Okay. This is where we'll outmatch him every time. His turning radius, turning speed, outmatched every time. Dodge this first one. Make contact with the second one. We're still getting messed up by the pilot, though. We'll have to go back down here and repair. And that was still good. See, that's two tanks down to one again. As long as our pilot friend doesn't mess us up. Yep, he got us. Dealing with infantry now. This is bullshit. Wait for my gun to be turned this way, and I'm being shot at. Boy, what a matchup! M18 Hellcat, guys. You can't go wrong with it. That was a hell of a matchup right there. We, we outsmarted that guy by outmaneuvering. Constantly being shot at by this infantry, man. They will not lose, leave me alone. If it's not the guy in the, in the plane, it's the it's infantry. <laughs> it's hard to keep him off of you. Try to get back here and repair real quick. Well, there you go, guys. So we did it. Captured the last objective. I had 14 kills. I want to say four or five deaths. That's not bad. We'll go to our statistic report. Yeah, 14 armor destroyed. Armor destroyed assistance, one, so we would have had 15. Uh, damage dealt, 1560. 16 enemies killed, so somewhere along there we killed some infantry. Uh, yeah, the one assist. One mobile deployment, which isn't bad. Um, so let's look at what we gained. 
1345 XP plus the experience bonus from veteran. I don't know if it just matches it, like it's a times two, or, or that's just what it is altogether. 